Okay, so the goal of this uh, short video is basically to do a quick FEMA model of the stress around the hole on a plate. Okay, so without getting into details, this is in polar coordinates, this is a division of the equation. And basically, let's just go to the figure. What this is indicating is that if this is a stress far away from the plate, that would just be equal to the force divided by the area over here, the cross-sectional area. Okay, if you are right around the hole at this location, uh, actually this location here, the stress should be three times the value of the far field stress. Okay, and since I don't like to trust everything, I created a very ma quick MATLAB code. So here you see the force 400 dimensions is 400 each age and then a thickness of one millimeter. And if you run this, basically here, this is just the plot around the circle, the location all around the circle. You go from minus one, you go to a value of basically three times, okay? So let's go and check that. So what I've done basically is equivalent that this should be three. All right, so with the data from the MATLAB code on this one, can go to geometry, surface, corners. So zero, zero, 100, uh, zero, 100. Oops, so I don't know where I'm here. I lost track of the points. And I think 400, 400, maybe. All right, I was lucky here. So let's create now a small circle in the middle. So the radius should be 20 according to the to this one, but we could use a different one. So we can do that by going to geometry circle. Centered would be at 200 and 200. All right, radius 20. Okay, so now we need to project that curve on the surface. So geometry project on that surface, this curve. Okay, now we need to remove that little piece. So delete geometry surface. So this is one, I guess. Yeah, so we want to eliminate two. Okay, okay. All right, so the whole thing is that this hole here needs to be surrounded by enough uh, surface, okay, or plate, so that the stress distribution following the Savanoff principle is not gonna be disturbed after a certain distance. So over here, let's go to the model. Let's select the properties of steel. And I'm gonna work in millimeters. So instead of being to the six, I'm gonna put to the three, 0 0.25. Okay. All right. So let's activate this material. Property new. We're going to select the plate with one millimeter. So plate or shell is equal to one. All right. So now let's mesh. Mesh, mesh controls, size on surface. Let's do here 10. And let's put here max 10. Okay, so now we can go to mesh geometry surface. All right, we wanna make sure here squad. All right, so that doesn't look bad at all, but let's try to refine around the center. So since the last two versions of FEMA, which is pretty convenient, you can go here to geometry editing. So let's see pad. Let me remove here data table, pad, add washer. Uh, we'll be using a 1.5, that uh, one should be fine. And we come over here and let's see what would that do. All right, so we created a pad. We could have done it a bit bigger, but that should be fine enough. Let's see, we wanna refine the mesh over here. So mesh sizing, multiply by two. 
uh, let's go select this curve let's select this one all right so one we can refine a bit more okay let's leave it up like this Control A. Okay, now we're going to create model constraint on curve. So this would be bounded conditions, BC. So, all right. So here, supposedly, if we apply just the load in that direction, we have to restrain just the Y. But remember, this can be maybe rotate. So I'm pretty sure if I put pin, it's going to create an error, but let's go and check because we're going to try to rotate and this is not stop. So, so we create that. Now load on curve. So I think F is equal to 400, right? Right over here. Okay. And 400. All right, so I'm pretty confident here that if we run this case, it's going to get some error because this is this is going to deform, so it's going to trace some type of moment of rotation about the Y. So kind of come here, model, create, new. Uh, okay, analyze. Okay, so I think that's probably the error. So you say continue, close this part and we could create here, let's say, boundary condition on the Y, so I would not let it rotate, or you could just fix all this H. Let's just fix this H. I think it would just be easy. So model, constraint, constraint here, edit constraint, and let's say fix. So basically what happens is that you also need to restrain the rotation in that direction. And here we just restrain everything. So file, the build. Yes, and analyze. And hopefully here, when we do the stresses, we should get a value of, of approximately three. So here we go. So results or results. All right, at five, maybe four. Select here, translation. Go to von Mises, always safer. Then we go to the X. Oops, F5, go back to contour here. All right. So you see, we get a value of around three, which is right over here. And we should get a value of one, what is the blue over here? Okay, so you see the blue here should be about one. If you want, we could create uh, basically some uh, groups, okay? So let's say maybe here, Groups new, let's say fire field stress. So group element ID pick box. It really doesn't matter. I mean, just far enough. Let's see over here. Okay. And now let's select another group here. Set on this one um, around hole. All right, so we can do, go now to uh, group elements ID method on curve. One, two, three, four. We can do just two, it doesn't matter. Okay. Drop the group. So here you see basically it goes from three to one or minus one here, one, two, three over here. Okay. Uh, all right, and we could look, look here at the far field, it should be basically all equals about one. All right, it's 1.01.973. 1 
but really everything should be close to one over here. And if we look at the full model, we get this over here. Okay, so again, you see the stress here, the maximum stress is, is three times the stress over there. If you want to look at this a little bit differently, let's see. All right. This is 3.01, this should be about one over here, all over the places. You see, this is, you know, here this is a bit of modification. This is obviously due to what? As we deform, okay, this hole is not gonna be completely circular. It's gonna become like an ellipse. So it's gonna affect the stresses, okay? But if you look here, all right, this should be very close to one. And this is what we're seeing on this group over here. All right, and around the hole, this is what we have. Okay, and I think is maybe you don't need to do it, but you see here the values will be going from one in blue to three. So that actually should correspond to this curve over here, going from one over here, this should be one, going all the way up to three. Okay, so in the next video, we'll do the same thing, but with the solid elements. And I will post all that information. If you guys want to have access to all this file, I will post them uh, in this website over here. I just put some of them, but here you see some of them, shear effects contribution, uh, K factor, RB2 connect beam to plate solid elements, machine around hole using solid elements. So uh, this was a general case, but basically you see over here, you have the video. And if you want here, you can download the uh, all the files. I will do the same thing for the video I just uh, developed. So thank you for your attention and please uh, subscribe if you like the video.